All right, so white, blue aggro. Occasionally people send me dollar redues to, to play good decks and this is one of them. I think this deck has a super proactive, good linear game plan with all of your one drops and venerated Loxodon. I think uh, both Tefri Time Raveler in terms of being a hate piece for control and reclamation, as well as Gideon as just being a resilient threat to kind of play through sweepers did a lot of reasonable stuff for this deck. Um, I also think um, the fact that Sultai midrange has kind of been on the down tick since the new set release does a lot for this. I still have a couple of copies of Takatli Honor Guard. I still have a couple of copies of Takatli Honor Guard here in the sideboard for um, for in case we run into that, but I think on average playing less of this is reasonable. I've got a couple of Adanto Vanguards here in the board too. Yeah, Steric noting that I actually don't have any I actually don't have any two drops in this deck. Instead, we're on, you know, one, two, three, four, 19 one drops. So our ideal start is one drop into double one drop into three drop or Loxodon, basically. So my land count is a touch higher than average. So I am on, you know, this actual, this island, thinking about it more. I'm gonna put a guild gate in the deck. I don't think I don't I think 21 is probably where I wanna be. And I probably never wanna draw two islands. Alright, let's do let's do that. Let's pop on into some matches and see how it feels. Alright. Don't make me don't make me regret this, white blue aggro. Don't make don't make me regret it. Let's see if we can snake number one for a little bit. Won the die roll. That's a good start. Ash, this is a great opener where the, the guild gate looks fine, right? I'm going to get to go land into bodyguard, into tap land, bodyguard, into history. Let's see how quickly that single digit number can become triple digits. Thanks for the, thanks for the vote of confidence. Get to give him a nice solid history lesson here. Listen, Bob, I like casting my spells. Do I history or do I do this into this? I'm probably just supposed to history. I mean, like spell pierced or vetoed and hate myself though. Yeah. Yeah, I could do this into that there. I train every day with thoughtfulness before action. What happens if you're number one at the end of the season? Absolutely nothing. Let's kill her so they have less digs for a solar blaze. You are a mighty warrior. I can you played Sahili with heroic reinforcements to, like, at this season. I don't remember. We've definitely played just Kai Sahili, but I don't remember if we had reinforcements in it or not. So we're gonna see them kill my token here. Excellent timing. This might be a bad idea. You know, the way... So do I send this here? They're probably gonna Sarkin next turn, right? But I guess that doesn't really matter. If Jeff ends the season number one, he becomes Watch season number one liability. I don't know. Number one li calling me a number one liability is a strong statement after how the MPL's shaken out this season. Oops, did I say that out loud? Maybe I am the number one liability. <laughs> Oh, 
I should have put a counter on the 2-2. Two -two. Sure. I don't, I don't play these aggro decks. Come on now. Your end has arrived. They're, they're dead, right? They're dead on board. I have a marshal for good measure, though. Marshal, marshal, marshal. All right. I would like Danto Vanguard. I would like a Johnny. I would like Conclave Tribunal, I think. I think Venerated Loxodon is supposed to come out against the... No, that's not true, Bob. Uh, the the knights got bigger, right? My the the two of the two ones were knights, so they got bigger. Yeah, they were at eleven, Bob, and I was attacking with four four power creatures. So four four power creatures into one blocker leaves four eight twelve damage. All right, um, I think I want to cut, actually, Marshall's probably not amazing in the face of sweepers, huh? If they're going to be bringing in, like, Clarion and, although I guess two of these insulate from Clarion, but I kind of, like, I kind of don't mind bringing my curve down a little bit if I'm cutting, if I'm bringing this in at the top end. Let's try, let's try this. A Johnny seems slow and bad. I don't know about that. I don't I don't know that I can just only s'more Carter against like the deafening Clarion Solar Blaze deck when I'm on the draw. We like Elephant over Marshall. That's true. Elephant over Marshall also survives Clarion. Which I think is something to consider. Hey, Ethan, thanks for the five months. You, I appreciate that. Welcome back. Appar apparently, it's really hard to move up from number eight. This is why I said I doubt you'll hit number one. You've already locked the in so no big deal, right, Bob? I I just like to soft lock the I'd like to soft lock the top one thousand for the end of the month, ideally. Adanto definitely confirmed busted. That seems like not amazing, but it's probably keepable. Is it keepable? It does have five lands. It does have four lands, sorry. There's no there's no jackal pups in this hand. Yeah, there's no jackal pups, right? So it's an easy mulligan. So I got distracted by the foils. This hand's much better. Please don't cry me a river. 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 Savannah Lions has really grown up. Man, I'm gonna get ritual assisted next turn and die. Well, if that hadn't been a guild gate, we'd have been able to cast the Loxton on this turn, but it is what it is. Hmm. 
I'm gonna hold on to this in case they have like a uh, uh, what's it called? The uh, enchantment that makes us discard a card. The, the guild gate's like two and zero against us so far. It's not a good scene. Yeah, I think I'm picking up a one drop here, right? Just like make them do this. Villain, thanks for the Twitch Prime support. I appreciate that. Here we go. Hey, right, two lethal looters. Yeah, Death Free seems really sweet in this archetype. Yeah. All right, so they're dead. Anto sounds great. Stroke sounds reasonable. Conclave maybe sounds reasonable. I think I'm going to cut Marshall because it dies to Ritual of Soot. This doesn't die to Ritual, which is nice. Um, I guess I should probably expect some number of crime. Why Adanto when they showed cruelty? Because it's not it's not all all cruelty, right? Like they still have removal that's not cruelty. And Adanto survives ritual, which is a big deal. I think I want my cats. I have no idea, random villain. Predicting predicting standard is hard. Predicting standard plus is impossible. I'm probably pretty unlikely to hit the city's blessing if they're killing my stuff. All right, let's do this. Baffling for thief. Now I've got I've got three Tefries and three Conclave tribunals to tempo thief. I think if if thief is relevant, we're probably not winning that game. You don't you don't want to be too reactive, basically. Looking at this hand definitely makes me glad I only kept one of this card in. Yeah, Standard Plus is coming this fall, T-Dub. We've always known it was going to be this fall when a rotation happens. One of the, um, 
one of the Magic Arena developers said that they would be coming, it, those sets would be coming back. As I very cleverly left the Adanto Vanguard there on top of my deck. Those of you, those of you taking notes at home and want to become a skilled mono white player, it's, uh, it's an important play to make note of here. Well, so, I, I, and this is a guesstimation because I don't have inside information here, obviously. We don't, I, I would assume Standard Plus is a placeholder name as opposed to a real thing. Um, and they don't want to call it Extended because this new format is going to be a non-rotating format. And Extended, for people that don't remember back that far, Extended was a rotating format. So it's fundamentally different than Extended was. I've heard, I've heard a lot of people make the extended comparison. I'm like, you don't know what extended was. You're just parroting things. The point of this is to be a new non-rotating format. Do I want to trade this for this? I think so. I don't think I really want this hitting me. Did you call it type 1.5, right? It definitely won't involve cons. They certainly don't want fetch lands in this new format. Yikes. So we're dead. Opponent, opponent survived to play. Now, for people out there at home who are wondering... How do you ever beat Liliana? You don't... Oh, wow. Okay. that I was going to say, that gives me the out of Tefri, right? You show remorse. That gives me this as a, as a real good draw. God, could you imagine if I would have drawn Conclave Tribunal here? How nuts it would have been? Look how far you have come. Could you imagine if I would have drawn Conclave Tribunal there? I think we're I think we're dead here. So another way, another way to be competitive is to just like not draw it seven and eight lands in your aggro deck. It's also a good good line. I have add money. Twitch decided to be generous today. Thanks for the pity, seat up. Sounds like my audio is starting to distort too. I think I'm gonna click submit. I'm gonna cut this one snub horn and bring in this veto. Pretty close there. Why not kill Liliana so she will kill the Adanto? Because attacking a 7 loyalty planeswalker with a 5 power creature does not kill it. Uh, this hand's great. These people are also great, much like this hand. You should check out their stuff. These folks, also wonderful. Check out their stuff. Back to your regularly scheduled Magic Arena, but there it was. Yep, and there isn't a there isn't a lightning strike in sight. We are super dead. Do you have enough sponsors for a third page? Generally speaking, I don't sell enough spots for three pages. So I kind of want to draw an untapped land here. So that way I can go threat, threat, Loxodon. Perfect. So cry sucks, but cry always sucks. So play like they don't have it. Demir Guildgate, you say? Trigger. 
Great. Cry no longer sucks. Oh, I guess that's true. This survives a cry after the elephant. Look at that. Moving on up. In it to win it. <laughs> yeah, good, good game, Shures. I don't know that your draw was necessarily bad in that third game, but my draw was absurd. Hey, Maglag Spike. Thank you for the four month reset. I appreciate that. Welcome back. I would like the record to reflect that even without this basic island, this hand is not a keep. Yeah, it's a lot of Demir Guildgate on your side. Basic Island is great there because you don't keep a bad hit. Yeah, the Basic Island, like, protected me from myself, right? I didn't have to, like, stop and, like, hem and haul over if I want to keep a one-lander. All right, let's draw an untapped white source. Go thing, thing, attack for two. Guildgate, Guildgate incoming. Basic Island off the top. Please, the Guildgate I needed. I need him to be punished. Punished for the Guildgate. So you're saying there's a chance. Take a chance on me. Do you increase in rank if you win a match now? Probably not. Twould twould be surprised. This is the part where they like whip out the main deck ritual asset. We just concede because they wanted it more than us. Guildgate should be changed to be Andrew River because it's more peaceful. Well, I have a foil Guildgate, though. Hopefully their hand is just like six counter spells right now. Your move, Yugi boy. Soot me. Soot me, daddy. Soot me. Cry me the canarium. Who's got two thumbs and is all in? This guy right here. Dig deep. Dig deep. Double bin. Double bin. Law, Law Rune Enforcer is very good.
Concede APM, always on point. Never, never doubt the concession APM, chat. Never, never doubt the concession APM. All right, I think that's the board plan for control. These four out, these four out. We bring in these, these five, six, seven, eight for Conclave Tribunal. Ship it. If we wanted to beat them having stuff, we would be playing Mono White. Sir, sir, there are Tefries in my deck. We are not Mono White. We have blue cards. Well, I knew I knew I was going to get Ritual listed there because they kept a card with their Discovery. They weren't, if they weren't going to kill us, they would have been both of those cards and tried to kill us. Y2K coming in hot for the 14th month. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Mm, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Savannah Lion, I choose you. I choose you, Savannah Lion. How far are we falling down when we lose? Probably a good chunk. Although they are ranked 200 something. So like I said, you know, could be, could be worse. I don't know. I feel like I'm luckier than my opponent. There's a good chance, so. I have no idea, Pengu Power. Well, that's because the Proliferate deck turned into that. They boarded in duress against me. Good golly. It's a good it's a good draw. I choose you, Pikachu. I'm gonna play this out so they can't thought erasure it. It's slightly less power, but I'd prefer not to get thought erasured. Is it potentially correct? How many non-creature spells do I have post-board? I guess I have a good number. Poor little Savannah Lion. Doing their best to get by in this world, hard world. The sleeve is so good. Gives you get a good sleeve for your aggro deck, chat. It gives you something decent to do while your while your control opponent takes too long to make decisions. All right, my opponent is also stuck on two at least, I guess. Rats. Play a Thief of Sanity. I'll draw a blue source and bounce it. Deal a Reno. Right, they kept one. That doesn't bode well for the home team.
they don't realize they don't they get the 4-4. They still get the 4-4 there. They still get the 4-4 there. Alright, deal. They didn't. Scotty doesn't know. Don't tell Scotty. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Here's a question. Is it crazy to cut Marshall from this deck? So that way I can just play another island instead of a guild gate. Because I think I can get away with two islands if I cut Marshall. It's a bit crazy. I feel like I could just like play a fourth Tefri and like another Gideon. I could play like fourth Tefri, another Gideon, like put two Adantos in the main. Seems reasonable. Yeah, I expect to, uh, my schedule only says till 2.30, but I'm planning to stream late basically every day as long as the deck queue is full. And uh, we've got a great viewer count. We've had a great viewer count all day today. Thanks everybody for dropping in. I don't think that's as direct of a comparison per se. I think I think Marshall does a lot less heavy lifting than than uh, Jin does. Well, here we go. London Mulligans falling down, falling down, falling down. London Mulligans falling down now. Please, Watsy. Alright, two shots at drawing a land here. And by two shots at drawing a land, I mean it better not be that mother flipping guild gate. Oh god. God bless you, little hollowed fountain. God bless us, everyone. The three toughness, three mana creature is my best card against Chain Whirler. That's probably not true. Their deck is just mono things that kill that card. And that caused me to lose tempo while they kill that card at that. All right, you ready for a little history lesson here, opponent? I agree. I'm going to try and cut the Marshall after this. I think Marshall also plays into sweepers. So, like, the things I'd be replacing it with don't play into sweepers, which would be nice, too. Am I getting duressed? Rude. Dealer's choice. Yeah, I'm gonna kill the guild gate. That's exactly right, Bob. This isn't a fight you can Maybe I'm just supposed to bounce this Ascanta. I don't know. I kind of want to save this to bounce a uh, uh, bounce a uh, Nickel Bolas here. If Tefri eats uh, eats a removal spell here, though, I'm sad he didn't get to draw a card, though. Like, stopping their ass cancer could be meaningful as well. Make them draw a little bit clunk here. Yeah, they have the double here. I really should have seen that coming. Yeah, that's true. I think I should have... I think I should have act bounced with the Tefri there. I think that was a mistake on my part. Unbreakable formation. I could see that. I don't know. I kind of want to just try more threats, though. Kind of want to just try more threats. They know about these two. That's a very good draw, I agree. Yeah, the fact, the fact that I didn't bounce this is probably going to be the entire game. 
I ran hot with the history, but if we lose, it's definitely I'm definitely going to lose because of that. My opponent wouldn't have had a window to play that back down here without being choked on mana. Yeah, this is a legitimate convo creature right here. This one's real, real good. Go. Yeah, and the third copy of this sounds great. Gideon, Gideon is really good against control. Yeah, Vanguard's also great. All right, I'm gonna try and get rid of these. I'm gonna put this and this and then a couple of Adantos. Do we hate that? I don't hate that. I think I'm gonna put a fourth law rune enforcer in here too. I think he's actually better than this stubhorn sentry. What do we what do we think about that? Feel like that's not that's not unreasonable. Alright. Give me a reclamation player. Give me, give me a reclamation player. Gobble, gobble. Rats, we lost the die roll. We're so bad at this aggro deck thing. He's a maniac, maniac on the floor. Do, 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 Yikes! Yikes! Listen, chat, all I'm gonna say is that if we don't get there, it's because you didn't believe hard enough. So I'm just gonna have to ask you to believe. See, never didn't have it, etc. etc. Do 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 Easy game, easy life. They targeted the one I could sacrifice. Thank you. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, chat. There's a lot of feel smart decks on the ladder right now, Hat Crab. Wrath me, Daddy. No, don't really wrath me. Please just die. Please just pass with Absorb up. Matt doesn't cast Wrath. Oh! Oh! Mmm! Mmm, 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 Dunk, dunk, dunk. I'm gonna do this because this gives me gives me the blessing. 
We are currently number four on the ladder. Oh no! Oh no! It's okay, they're at eight yet. You just gotta, you just gotta believe. I get by with a little help from my friends. They did the thing. Oh no, dog through the thing. Uh, if I make a thing, I'm one short of also elephanting, right? As you will, opponent. Yeah, I agree. I think the marshal just plays into sweepers. There's still two cards off of flipping this. If we get if we just don't get Kaya's Wrath this turn, a Danto first four can probably limp us across the finish line. They tanked you tanked on the absorb, seriously? How is that even close? They they have a wrath? If they have wrath, tanking on absorb is fine. Scale one to dead. Where are we at here, opponent? You got Vraska's Contempt? Vraska's Contempt's your best card here. Moment of Craving close second. What's a card that doesn't play into Sweepers? Uh, Gideon is a great example of a card that doesn't, that doesn't play into a Sweeper. So Gideon is a card that adds pressure to the board but doesn't die when they cast Kaya's Wrath. It might even be that the fourth Gideon in the sideboard is better than the Adanto first four, or better than the fourth Adanto Vanguard. Right on schedule. All right, they're catching up here a little bit. We are notably not attacking their Tefri because if I attack their Tefri, it triggers their Othakaya, and that is just no no good for the home team. Settle is is really bad. I agree. They have absorb. I'm really sad here, but if they have absorb, it means they're not activating this. This is better against spot removal. They get they get nine looks at Kaya's wrath here. I'm a paleontologist coming in hot with the Twitch Prime support. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for keeping me around. I appreciate it. Nine is a lot of looks. They gotta, they gotta scrap out the first port though. Dueling, dueling utility lands here. We've drawn almost as many lands as the Esper player. I know my responsibility. This is going to kill a 1-1, I assume. Why not play the island to get the blessing? Because the blessing is irrelevant. Oh, no. That's such a good line. Gosh, Tefri is good. I mean, if I draw the O3, I just activate the first four to do that, right? So there, I'm blessed. Hashtag blessed. Bless up. All right, so do I... No, I was going to say, I might, I could get cheeky and exile this, but that's actually just not worth doing anything. No, you don't want to Tribunal the Oath because they're a Mortify deck, and that would turn their next Mortify into an Othakaya. I think I think we just I think I just pass here. I'm pretty sure it's just smack you and make another thing. Here goes nothing. This is a good example of why I only have two of this card in my deck, though. It's really bad against control. It's pretty good in a lot of other places, like a free counter spell or free removal spell, but. It's rough otherwise. Rough in places like this. We're about to get Kaya's Wrath. 
Hopefully this is just Braska's Contempt. They should probably activate Azkanta first because they could Kaya's Wrath me here, right? Because of Tefrim. They have another piece of spot removal. They have another piece of spot removal I don't mind waiting. Adanto's very, very good against Esper. Flipping this early in this matchup is one of the most important things you can do. He says to be Kaya's Wrath is real good. You're not wrong. And they must have another one. Yeah, I like, I like this because the difference between two and one is pretty big here when I'm making a 1-1 one -one every turn. So they denied themselves a uh, Azkanta, the Sunken Rune activation to do that. Also worth noting, my waiting on the Conclave Tribunal was ideal. I've done the hero thing before. Please concede. Please concede. Please concede. Sure. Scale of one to dead, what are we working with here? Yeah! We did it. We did it. We did it. Hooray! Um, actually, so this is, this is an interesting question. Do I want these counter spells in this matchup if they have little Tefri? I don't, do I? I think I just want the vetoes. I think I just want the vetoes. Because, like, they're probably leaving some of their little Tefris in against me, right? This also gives us a not embarrassing way to interact with Hostage Taker and Lyra, which is just absurd. That's true. In some situations, I can attack down Tefri. That's fair. Yeah, that's the... If I want... If I want to fit in... If I want to fit in the other two, the two strokes, I cut two Loxodons to do it. Law Reinforcer is also good against her. You're not wrong. Uh, there aren't foils of any of the sagas currently. All right. All righty then. They took Allegiance Landing. So that must mean they have a they have a, they have an absorb for this. One mana creature is the ideal draw here. I'd have been terrible at Gift of Seven. I mean this five is much better than the seven was, right? Hey! Alrighty! Give me a history or a Gideon. History or a Gideon. Papi, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. History or a Gideon. History or a Gideon. Busted, busted. A settle for a Danto Vanguard. That's unfortunate. I definitely am taking this opportunity to just clear this out. They have the Wrath here. We're going to be in a lot of trouble. Hostage Shaker. Yep, that's also not great for us. So now, the fact that Taker is in their deck makes me think I'd rather have Stroke than Vito. Just because Stroke gets rid of this, which is nice. Elefante looking very reasonable here, though. All the same. Have some three twos to attack in next turn. We are not in a great spot, but we're definitely not in a unwinnable position. Asado coming in hot with the six month. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Hope you're having a good one. Is there a sideboard guide out for the, for this deck? There is not, because we're still trying to figure out what we want the main deck of the sideboard to look like.
They board into Esper Hero? I don't think I've seen that anywhere, Telegraph. Now, if they have a removal spell here as well, we could be in a little bit of trouble. But if they trade this off, suddenly our Adanto becomes live, which is nice. I think I'm pretty happy with this overall. And again, like, maybe the first fort just, like, chugs this game out. Wow, they took four there. What is in their hand? They just, like, have duresses and absorbs? Okay, yep, yeah, that makes sense. All right, one, one Tefri, please. We're gonna see a five mana four four here. Why is this 2-3 so big? I don't understand. It's really unfair. Uh, another elephant's a good draw here. Gideon's a fine draw. Another land. Not not the greatest. I guess I guess the land's not terrible. So the land lets me go end step, make a 1-1, one, one, diddle something, untap, diddle something, attack for four. That's true. Tefri, Tefri picks our Elefante back up, which undoes the hostage taker. And in fact, um, I want to diddle the hostage taker before the elephant because if they kill my diddler before I untap, and then I that's uh, yep. Yeah. Okie doke. Okie doke. All right, so. We diddle this, and then we could draw a Tefri. That's not a Tefri. I am blessed, though. I am blessed, though. Bless up. Yep. And this is why this archetype is so good. It's because, like, we have draws where we just, like, run people out of the game, game one. But we also have post-board games like this where we just get to, we get to, like, stay in the game long, for the long haul. They probably want to bounce my Enforcer here, right? So they get in a hit with Lyra. We, we get some counterplay if we draw a Tefri of our own. And they don't have an Absorb. They could have an Absorb here. If they have Absorb, this game is probably over. Like it. And we'll get to get to the next one where we're on the play. Doesn't Absorb come out in this matchup? Listen, Brad. Don't, don't doubt... Don't doubt what, uh, don't question what they're likely to do. They also, they also boarded in duress, so. Absorbs pretty good there. Makes me concede. All right, I'm gonna put in the disdainful strokes. So I'm gonna cut these vetoes. Do I want Conclave Tribunal? I'm not sure that I do. How do I, how do I, where do I stand on Tribunal versus Loxodon? I think I'd rather just have Loxodon, huh? I think these two are enough. Let's do it. Let's run them down. London Mulligans falling down, falling down, falling down. London Mulligans falling down. Now please, Watsy. 
All right, meet a blue source, but uh, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe in a tough fairy. Tough fairy. Do 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 do. Do 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 Yes, they have Absorb in versus my four Tefri deck. It is absurd. It's fine, we're gonna brick and die and it's not gonna matter because there's no justice in the world, but that's the fact that they have Absorb in is is kinda wild. It's actual like worst runner deck, just like another three. We bricked there, we really wanted to draw a two drop. One or a two. Even even this last turn would have been great. There's that. There's that absorb. You want to bet there's multiple of those in their hand? So, like, if we would have hit the land on time for Tefri, would have just, like, completely shut them out. Tap out to deal with this, we can then stick a different Planeswalker, so that's nice. Now, end step removal makes me think that we might see a Sweeper here, or a Lyra, or a Hostage Taker. Nothing? Blue Source, please. Blue Source, please. Come on, give me an Island. <sighs> I didn't play the Gideon there because I didn't want to play him into a counter spell. Give me a one drop, please. Give me a one drop, please. Stand by and watch. Trust me, I have a plan. Yeah, I guess that's I guess that's okay. Not really. I have a Dauntless in there. I've got I've got a lot of good ones here. I've hit, I've hit my lands at this point, so what do they want to do? They don't have double discard spell here, like... I wouldn't be surprised if we see, like, Gideon. Gideon be the take. The second Tefri, okay. So now we're kind of hoping to draw a land or a one or two mana play, so I can, like, play my turn while holding up Disdainful Stroke. Taking the second Tefri feels to me like they have a Lyra or a Hostage Shaker, perhaps. So they don't want me to be able to send that back to their hand. Of course, it could also just mean they have, like, Vraska's Contempt and they want to, like, bounce my Tefri. Yeah, they're going to kill this. All right, so I'd really like to draw a land here so I can play this while holding this up. It's only a matter of time. I march into battle if your champions jump. Prepare for battle! Oh, the guy is very, very good. I agree. <sighs> rough. Scruff, McGruff, rough, chat. I, am not quite I think we missed for a little bit too long. Well, our board plan this game was miss land drops and die. That was definitely our board plan. I'd actually argue they don't have our board plan figured out because we would have dumpstered them with our board plan if we'd have hit the land for Tefri. Their absorbs, their absorbs would have been super embarrassing. 
I think duress is probably fine, especially when we're boarding in some counter spells. But leaving an absorb against the four little Tefri deck, I think, is not good. Honestly, don't think duress is that bad. A lot of times when they lose this matchup, they lose with a bunch of cards in their hand. I won't let you win. We need to move quickly. I'm known for my excellent time. All right, let's try. Let's try one more before we wrap it up. Things not quite lining up there how we needed them to. Needed to hit the land earlier, and then once we hit the land, we kind of flooded out. Play one more with this sort of remove log to red white hero, and then wrap things up with this Bernard set. They did. It heard it heard our cries for lands and then tried to appease us. Well that's that's a start. If we hit it if we're lucky and hit another land, we can go a Danto into Loxodon. Okay. I can get rid of anything, living or dead. You better watch your back from here on out. Beacon is very good to be fair. I walk a righteous path. Share in my light. Absorb is bad against Tefri because we're playing a deck because Tefri static tech says you can't play counter spells. It turns your counter spells off, Wanky. And generally, generally speaking, against a deck like ours, if anything is going close to right, the opponent's going to have to be tapping out to deal with our one mana plays, which means that Tefri is going to sneak in and make their Absorb not useful. Make their Absorb not have a text box. Expand it. Yep. I've got it. You want to just do this? Gideon. Gideon's pretty good. BT dubs. There's a chance. There's a chance. I just want more of him in here too. We will meet again. We did die to Esper, Bob. We missed. We missed our land drop to stick the Tefri, and then we got absorbed. Absorbed back into last year. I believe in you. Do I just only attack with 
these. Now I'm gonna go like this, and then go Sky Marcher into Loxodon here. Oh, that's a good call. Vigil Gideon can get Vigilance, so you have an extra counter on something. Thank you for pointing that out. Angry Penguin with the brand new tier one sub. Thank you very much and welcome. Hope you're having a good start to your weekend. I'm glad you enjoy the YouTube stuff, Penguin. Good to have you dropping in. All right. Yeah, the the Gideon Ultimate animation does not disappoint. This is probably a Takatli Art matchup, right? They showed us Wild Growth Walker. Baffling in for that same reason, perhaps. Conclave Tribunal seems a little bit mediocre. Is this a Tefri Out matchup? Do I just become Mono White here? I feel like just becoming mono white here is probably not bad. They seem like they're mostly tap out, and I'd rather have something like this to actually take their threat out of the way. Try something like this. Yeah, I think they're on Wanderer, Command the Dread Horde combo. I'm really not used to being on the bad guy side of the table. This deck's very good. This this archetype is one of the better archetypes in this format. And I think Tefri, little Tefri slots really well into it. Evening zombie. In. One, two, three. So normally four landers are not great to keep, but... The spells in this four lander are good enough that I think we just keep it. Notably, we are a little bit soft to the combo. Turn two Wild Growth Walker, turn three Jade Light Ranger. So that might be something, something to consider. Ixalan's Diviner. There's, there's someone who's been hurt by aggro. Love it. I think I do this into this, this. Hey, I, I've registered this card before. Yet less cannot judge. I've definitely registered yield excellence diviner. Together we can banish evil from this plane. 
So if I give this indestructible, I can flip this uh, Legion's Landing at the cost of this. I get a little bit of damage in here too. Law Rune Enforcer is really good. It's it's quite it's quite good. Yeah, these blocks these blocks make sense. I want to eat my token. Who thinks they're setting up to Massacre Girl me? Do I want to just pass and play around Massacre Girl? They named her last game, and they didn't make a play this turn, which makes me feel like they probably have some kind of payoff in their hand. I think I'm just gonna pass. Sweet decks are a lot harder to play in best of one, at least at a competitive in the competitive sense, because um a lot of sweet decks tend to be like mid-rangey decks, and mid-range decks tend to be much better when you have a sideboard. No, we're ninth. Yeah, we were. We peaked at four. We lost. We were. We were four, and we lost the last match. Not playing out my Dauntless Bodyguard is worse against another Explore creature. So when you have one of these knights indestructible, Prepare for battle. and I'll attack with my three indestructible dorks. We'll play this out post combat on here, and then pass. I think. Gosh, these blocks feel to me like they're setting up Massacre Girl, right? So do I just... Yeah, do I just, like, let Adanto die to play around her? I think I, think I do, right? Just go. I, like, make a token at the end of turn. Yeah, I agree. I feel like we're ahead even if they don't have it, which makes sense to play around it. I think I'm gonna cash this Gideon in to kill the Wild Growth Walker here. And just play another one out. That's pretty good. My sword is your end. So I'm gonna position this so none of my things have one toughness here. Hardly my worst so I can do this. I can do this. I can play Gideon. I am here to aid in the assault. Trigger. Your light will go.
They have a Tamiyo. They're looking at their graveyard. I did miss a point of damage by not playing Gideon pre-combat and giving something, giving a token Vigilance. I actually missed two points because I could have sent the 1-1 one, one to kill Tefri and I could have sent the 2-2 two, two at them. Yeah, glad we, glad we exiled, uh, glad we exiled Wild Growth Walker. Are we still ahead? I don't think so. I don't think so, because, like, Tefri's gonna exile one of my tokens here. Yeah, their deck seems really neat. I think we're probably done at this point. I don't know that I really have a... We, our deck doesn't really have a comeback mechanism in it. Yeah, there's no, there's no heroic reinforcement strip off the top of our deck, right? I guess, like, that qualifies one of our better draws, right? I guess I make this indestructible and I attack them with both of these and then I make a token and I lock it on yeah like if they have massacre girl we're, def we're definitely just dead I'm not, I'm not winning by not playing Loxodon, Mageologist. If I, if I, my options, my options are Mageologist and Concede. Oh, they guaranteed have, have that. We're probably just dead then. Oh, actually, so they only have, because they blocked with their 2-1... I can do this, and then there's no two toughness things in play, right? So now they have to they have to kill something else. So by not by not doing this, Massacre Girl doesn't kill the board. No, no, it doesn't, because there's no two toughness things in play, Far Child. Yeah, there's no, there aren't multiple one toughness or two toughness things in play. Uh, Branch Walker guaranteed does it, Brad, because Branch Walker will be one or two toughness. Kaya I believe in Kaya doesn't guarantee Um Kaya doesn't kill Kaya exiles so she won't trigger massacre girl again I think I eat their one for right there's no reason not to I can 
take it. No, that doesn't that doesn't affect Massacre. You may be double doubt, double doubt. Uh here's the battle it's one one until end of turn. Each other creature dies this turn special by one. Yeah, so they need they need a one toughness or a two toughness thing to put into play. Okay, that locks them off of uh that locks them off of casting a thing, but this lets this bounce something. So they don't they don't currently have double black. Okay, so one of my three threes is gone, sure. Okay, there's a Jade Light Ranger. Then they can Kaya and exile my bodyguard. I think the one life actually locks us out. <laughs> Nothing phases me. Oh, that actually I'm gives me an out because they exiled the token and not the bodyguard. So if I draw, if I draw a removal spell here, they're dead. Oh no! Oh, okay. Whew. Whew, I was at the wrong part. We would have drawn a removal spell, I needed a token. So if I would have hit Baffling in there, I could have killed this and then hit them for exactly nine because they exiled the three power thing instead of the four power thing. But I misclicked, but then we didn't draw the out. So let's play the let's play the third game here where we're on the play. Make Bolas great again, coming in hot with the 12 months of support. Have a sword to go with your shield. Thanks for keeping me around. All right. Um... I think I want a Johnny because it screws with Massacre Girl. I think I want this because it's good against Massacre Girl. I'm going to swap out these for it. Nah, I th I've got Takatli and I've got this and I got this and I think that's plenty. Holly S, thank you for the brand new Prime support. Welcome, welcome for keeping me around. That was a sweet game, though. A lot of good back and forth. A lot of good things to think about and play around, potentially. Okay. I'm going to bottom that because I want to give myself the best possible chance to curve out to these. I also like want to Kotli on her guard and Baffling End to deal with their uh, Wild Growth Walker. That's sweet because it means if they don't have a two mana removal spell, I get to flip this, which guarantees history. Hey, Brennan. Thank you for the seven months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Draw a land. Draw a land. Ding, ding, ding. We want them to draw a land because it means they can't block these profitably. So I get to flip this over without throwing away a creature. Because if they hit a land, if they even if they didn't hit a land there, I'd be forced to attack in here because I need to get history down. So ideally want to hit a land next turn so we can Ajani and start pumping up the jam. Yeah, I think this deck's great. It is very, very reasonable and powerful. I think all the decks that were good last season are still good, and this is uh, this definitely falls into that category. your back from here on out. Yeah, Mono Blue's fight. Good for you. 
shuffling me off. Gates, Gates wasn't very good last season. Gates was like a mediocre tier two deck at best. Sorry, sorry, I love you, Gates deck, but that's the that's the truth. Takatli does also turn off Massacre Girl. That kills Takatli. All right, have to draw a land here so that way a Johnny can get these out of Massacre Girl range. Perfect. Maybe you know what? I I actually messed up here. I should have. I should have put the bodyguard on the Takatli is what should have happened. I got lucky and drew the land, but... I definitely should have put this on Takatli. Because we hit the land, it kind of ended up working out. Massacre Girl is awkward here, and I got to keep this, which attacked with a, a bonus from the from the other thing. Instead of clicking creature, clicking face, click creature face, creature face, try creature, creature, creature face. Interesting. I'll try that next time. You're right, attacking with multiple things into lots of planeswalkers is currently kind of awkward. Okay, multi-group select, got it. Law Rune Enforcer here just diddles their thing, right? And they die. So they're dead on board? They're dead on board, right? Deliver us to victory. Alright, as as is often the case, mono white triumph white aggro triumphs over sweet 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 four color brew. Oh. We won, we won our way back up to eight. We were we were rank eight when we started and we were rank eight when we finished. Um I think I'm gonna throw the 75 on the website. Uh I Benadryl Marshall is a card that it felt like incredibly awkward to me in different spots and I really feel like both Gideon and Tefri slot into this deck nicely um, Tefri is good against Texas is good against control It also gives you he gives us a little bit of interaction to get things out of the way Without having to have four conclave tribunal in our deck that feel bad when they're not good because like remember The floor on Tefri is he draws a card which is very reasonable Gideon is just this incredible card at dodging sweepers and also being flexible pseudo removal that Exiles something two turns after he comes down which is pretty reasonable as well. So I think I was happy with uh, both this splash and uh, going up on this instead of playing the Beneficial Marshals. You bring in Demystify or Veto against Mono Red? Probably not. Probably, probably not. <laughs> 